Hi, antique radio collectors. I used to say hi, YouTubers, but sometimes I think it sounds a little bit corny when I say that. I have a McConey Type 32 radio receiver. They're not very common. They're rare, actually. And I got this off of a friend of mine. I bought it. And I came with a bunch of paperwork, and I'll show you that. And, uh, he was, uh, from Canada, and he had corresponded with another gentleman, uh, in England and one other place, and he hand-drew the inside of the circuitry, and as you can see, there's the aerial reaction unit. There's three stages of tubes, and then you have, you have, um, You have your condensers, your resistors, grid leak, and what have you. Um, you call this a tuning, well, it's a tuning condenser. This is your bus strip for all your power supply connections, range switch, and then uh, the transformer. And he had some info on here, but he had some questions about how to wire everything up. He drew it out really well. But he didn't know exactly what tubes to use, what voltages to use. So he wrote several letters, which I have here, and I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to show you an example. But he would write these letters to this guy. And he would walk him through how to hook everything up. Now, this is how they did stuff back then when you didn't have the internet. That was back in 1977 when he did this. And uh, it's just, there was a lot of, lot of paperwork on everything that, that these two gentlemen discussed, or three gentlemen. I, some of this stuff I'm not able to read because I can't read the handwriting. But um, it, was, it was pretty cool what he did. So anyhow, we'll go back to the radio. And the, the range is from, um, from two, 250 meters to uh, 550 meters. And I looked that up. It's a lot, I think it's a lot, I could be wrong. I'm pretty close. 11.30 to uh, 480 uh, kilocycles. And this actually is an antenna coupler unit. It has a small coil in the inside that revolves in between another coil. Some used radio guys would understand what that is. I'm not gonna, I'm I'm not gonna open that up. Um, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I did resolder the connections and everything, got it working. And this is the tuning condenser. And he, I think he made these resistors. Either that or they were made, ma manufactured, and he managed to be able to get these apart, which he did. And he put regular uh, neural resistors in those. And then, here's one side of the switching circuit. And you have two coils. And uh, those coils would be... Uh, Sugar. I don't know where I put the schematic, but uh, those two corals, one coral is, is for switch one and the other coral for switch two, which I'll show you in the front. And I think that and the antenna, uh, the, uh, I'm going to call it the antenna coupler over here, matches with the length of your antenna because you have switch one, which will handle a long wire and switch two, which... Uh, would handle a short wire. The switching mechanism works like this. And if I'm wrong with anything, please let me know. I'm trying to learn these. I, I took electronics years ago. 
but I got fascinated with tube radios and uh, I've been collecting them for a long time. I use a uh, RB3 power supply to run it and this tube here is your detector this tube here is the RF amplifier and this is the audio output I think it's it, and let me know if I'm wrong but I think I'm right this is called a TRF with a regen circuit because when I run this control over here, the vario coupler, I can cause it to oscillate and then cut back just a little bit and then start picking up the radio stations. And uh, it's a, like I said, McConey Type 32. I have not seen anybody have one of these on uh, YouTube in operation. So um, I have it here and. Uh, I really like it. I did take the switch, uh, that switch that I showed you. I took it apart. I took the cover off the uh, varial coupler and re-soldered all the connections. Re I took the switch apart and cleaned all the reeds on the switch and re-soldered uh, re all the connections everywhere on the bus strip. Everywhere I can get my soldering iron. Down there on the condenser, we soldered all those connections down where the resistors were, the tube sockets. And it's, uh, I mean, it's a modern looking radio. I wouldn't say it's really super fancy, but uh, it does what it's supposed to do. And we'll pick up a couple of stations. Adjust the vario coupler. This is the tuning condenser. Like I said, if you get the regen too high, she'll start squealing. But as you can see, it's working. Now that was the long antenna. Now we'll go to the short antenna. And I'm switching back as I'm tuning, switching back between my vario coupler and the tuning condenser. And like I said, the drawing that he did was really, really nice. I mean, for not having a schematic, this guy really did really well with the drawing. Now, it it's actually does say on it, aerial reaction unit. But very, but basically, it's a vario coupler. It has one coil that turns inside another coil, and uh, he drew out the tube sockets and everything. The power transfer, I mean the uh, output transformer, did all the wiring, wrote down all the wiring, and drew all the wiring connections. I mean, this guy was pretty good um, when he was doing the when he was writing to this other fellow. 
He had several questions. He did find a resistor apparently for in here because it's in there. It's uh, been, or he made it and put it in there. Band switch. Anyways, just a simple video, a bouncy simple radio <laughs> video. But it's the McConey radio and it works great. McConey thir type 32.